Hello, I am Sunita. Welcome to my class. Here I am going to discuss Karnataka DT science topics according to the syllabus. Here the topic is gravitation. Let us solve some of the multiple choice questions based on the topic gravitation. Let us discuss some of the multiple choice questions based on the topic gravitation. First question, a body of mass 1 kg is attracted by the earth with a force which is equal to option A 9.8 Newton, option B 6.67 into 10 to the power of 11, option C 1 Newton, option D 9.8 meter per second. Here you know to calculate the gravitational force the formula is F is equal to M into A. Then here M is 1 kg then acceleration is 9.8. 9.8 into 1 it will be equal to 9.8 Newton therefore the correct answer for this question is 9.8 Newton. Second question what is the gravitational force between the two objects you know universal law of gravitation every objects on the earth they will attract each other even earth also having gravitational force it will attract all the object towards itself here whether they depends upon the distance or not they are asking the question option a attractive at larger distance only option b attractive at small distance only option c attractive at all distance option d attractive at larger distance but repulsive at small distance the correct answer is attractive at all the distance you know in the universe every two object they will attract each other if they will not depends upon the distance whether they are far from the object whether they are near to the object it will attract all all distance also the attractive force it will exist between the two object because of the gravitational force this for correct answer it will attract at all the distance Next question, the value of G, G is the gravitational force, It how it will vary, they are asking the question. Option A increases as we go above the earth surface, B decreases as we go to the center of the earth, option C remain constant, option D is more at the equator, less at the poles. The correct answer for this question is decreases as we go to the center of the earth. The value of the G is directly proportional to mass of the body but it inversely proportional to square of the distance between the object distance between the object as we go uh, inside the center of the earth uh, the the distance between the object and the earth it will be increases as the value of r increases therefore the value of g it will decreases as we move to the center of the earth Next question, question number 4, the ball is thrown up, the value of G will be option A, 0, option B, positive, option C, negative, option D, negligible. When you throw a ball other by any object against the gravity, then the gravitational force it will be, the value it will be negative. The gravitational force causes option A, tides, option B, motion of the moon option c none of the, none of them option d both a and b the correct answer is both a and b gravitational force it will cause even tides also even motion of the moon is due to the because of the gravitational force you know the moon it will revolve the earth in a circular motion and because of the gravitational force the moon it will be revolving in a circular motion and if, if assume if gravitational force is not there then the moon it can't revolve around the earth it will fall in the earth only otherwise it will move tangential to the earth because of the gravitational force even motion of the moons also it will occur even tides also it will occur because of the gravitational force Next question, question number 7, Newton's law of gravitation applies to option A, small bodies only, option B, plants only, option C, all bodies is irrespective of their size, option D, for solar system. Newton's law of gravitation, it will apply for all bodies irrespective of their sizes, therefore option C is the correct answer. Next question, the atmosphere around the earth is held by option A, gravity, option B, winds, option C, clouds, option D, none of the above. 
the correct answer is gravity you know earth is up to a certain height earth is surrounded by atmosphere atmosphere is nothing but a mixture of different types of gases that atmosphere held together otherwise it hold the hold towards the earth is gravity gravity it will pull the it will pull the atmosphere towards the earth therefore atmosphere is uh, around the earth next question gravitational force does not depends upon among this four option the gravitational force which does not depends upon which factor they are asking the question option a mass of two bodies option b the gravitational constant option c charge on the two bodies option d separation between the two bodies you know according to this formula f is equal to g m1 m2 divided by r square here the gravitational force it depends upon the mass of the body and gravitational constant and also separation between the otherwise the distance between the two bodies therefore correct answer for this question is option c charge on two bodies gravitational force it does not depends upon the charge on two bodies the next question the value of g is minimum option a on hills option b in mines option c at equator of earth option d at poles of earth the value of g that is gravity is greater at the poles the value gravitational force the value of g it will be greater at the poles because the gravitational pull is maximum at the poles and decreases at it comes down towards the equator as it moving from poles to the equator the value of gravitational constant it will be decreases therefore correct answer for this question is at the equator of earth the g value is mix, is minimum at the the value of g is maximum at poles of the earth next question weight of an object is highest at option a center of the earth option b poles option c above the earth surface option d is equator you know weight of an object is nothing but how much the earth is exerting a gravitational force on a particular object weight is nothing but a gravitational force on a particular object according to universal law of gravitation force is directly proportional to the mass of the product of their masses of the object and inversely proportional to the square of their distance at the poles the distance between the center of the earth to the poles is minimum as the distance is decreases then the force of gravitational force it will be increases because force is inversely proportional to their respective distance therefore at the poles the distance between the center of the earth to a pole it will be it will be less therefore the gravitational force it will be more the distance of pole is least from the center of the earth so the force of attraction is highest on the body at poles and the weight of the body is highest that gravitational force it will be higher at the poles then it will if if a object is possessing more gravitational force then it will exert a more weight therefore correct option for this question is at poles the weight of the body is highest at the poles next question weight of a body on earth is 48 newton its weight on moon is option a 98 newton option b 48 newton option c 9.8 newton option d 8 newton you know weight of a body on earth is six times more than the weight of the body on the moon otherwise weight of the body on moon is 1 by 6 of the weight of the body on the earth so weight becomes 48 divided by 6 is nothing but 8 the correct answer for this question is 8 newton the universal law of gravitation does not explain among this four statement which one it will not explain by universal law of gravitation the tides on earth due to the moon yes it explain by universal law of gravitation that tides on earth 
due to the moon it is explained by universal law of gravitation option b the motion of electrons in an atom yes this is the wrong one the motion of electrons in an atom is not explained by universal law of gravitation then third option the motion of planets around the sun yes it is explained by universal law of gravitation the motion of the moon around the earth this also explained by universal law of gravitation therefore option b is the wrong statement regarding universal law of gravitation which of the following is not related to gravitational law option a thunder lightning option b motion of planet around the sun option c occurrence of tides option d rainfall and snowfall these three option motion of planet around the earth occurrence of tides rainfall and snowfall everything it will occur due to the presence of a gravitational force but first one thunder lightning is an electrostatic phenomena it will not plays an important role in gravitational force or gravitational law therefore the wrong statement according to this question is thunder lightning because this is an this is an electrostatic phenomena the magnitude of gravitational force between the earth and 10 kg body is what is the gravitational force exist between the earth and the body is having 10 kg they are asking the question option a 98 newton option b 90 newton option c 9.8 newton option d 100 newton you know gravity of earth is 9.8 newton acceleration due to gravity is also a 9.8 newton gravitational force is nothing but force applied by the earth to a particular body therefore f is equal to m into a a is the acceleration due to gravity its value is 9.8 m is nothing but mass of the body here they are given the value 10 kg therefore 10 into 9.8 if you multiply you will get 98 newton that is the force exist between the gravitational force exist between the earth and a body of mass having 10 kg the force it will be 98 newton the correct answer for this question is 98 newton next question the gravitation is inversely related to option a distance between the masses option Two, product of magnitude of masses. Option three, direction of masses. Option four, square of distance between the masses. The correct answer for this question is the gravitation. Gravitation is inversely proportional to square of distance between the masses. Next question: the gravitational field is directed. Option one, towards the earth. Option two, away from the earth. option 3 has no direction option 4 in a specific direction making angle with earth the correct answer for this question is the gravitational field is always directed towards the earth next question apple falls towards the earth but the earth does not move towards the apple because option a only earth exert force on apple apple does not exert force on earth option b apple experience greater force than the earth option c only apple exert force on earth earth does not exert force on apple option d acceleration is inversely proportional to mass so acceleration of earth is negligible option 4 is the correct answer here acceleration is inversely proportional to mass of the object here the earth mass is more therefore the earth it will exert less acceleration then apple mass is less compared to the mass of the earth therefore apple exert more acceleration apple falls towards the earth but the earth does not move towards the apple because acceleration is inversely proportional to mass earth mass being extremely larger as compared to the apple it has negligible acceleration towards the apple therefore option 4 is the correct answer next question what is the mass of a body whose weight is 59 newton take g it will be g value will be 9.8 meter per second square here they are given force is 59 newton g is 9.8 meter per second square you know the formula 
formula f is equal to m into g where if you want to calculate m then alter the equation then you will get m it will be f divided by, divided by g then m m it will be equal to the value of force is 59 divided by g value is 9.8 if you simplify you will get 6.02 kg approximately 6 kg therefore the correct answer for this question is 6 kg thanks for listening my class thank you